Hi, I'm Steve Richardson. So you're thinking about filing bankruptcy, but one of your debts has a cosigner. Maybe it's your spouse or your parents or a friend. If you file bankruptcy, what happens to that cosigner? Well, it depends, first of all, on the kind of bankruptcy you file. If you file a Chapter 7, then you're fine, the debt's discharged, but the cosigner is still on the hook. The creditor can go after that person to get paid. Now, if you file a Chapter 13, it depends on how much you propose to pay that creditor in your Chapter 13 repayment plan. Now, what does that mean? Well, if, for example, you propose to pay 100% of the debt, well, then that's fine. The co-debtor stay in a Chapter 13 bankruptcy protects that co-debtor. So even if you're taking five years to pay all of that debt back, the creditor cannot go after the co-debtor under the co-debtor stay because you're paying all of it back over time. Now, the flip side to that is, let's say your plan proposes to pay only 65% of the debt. Well, that means that the creditor can then go after the co-debtor for the other 35% while you're paying the 65%. So the answer is, in order to be sure that that co-debtor is fully protected, you need to file a Chapter 13 bankruptcy and propose to pay all of that debt back to the creditor. So, if you live in southern New Jersey and you're thinking about filing bankruptcy, please feel free to give my office a call to set up an appointment to talk about your case and see whether bankruptcy is right for you.